Hello, everyone. SCP-049 here. Playing the ultimate doom. Now, as you may or may not know, this is a mod of the original doom. Called Brutal Doom. Now, this version comes with multiple enhancements. For example, mouse look. You can aim with your mouse, which you couldn't in the originals. Multiple graphics enhancements. A better HUD for more modern displays, as I'm so fortunate to be playing on right now. And you can download multiple other add-ons, which, to be fair, I could have actually put in, but I decided not to because I wanted to keep it as modern as possible but also as faithful to the original as possible. Now one of the main differences between Brutal Doom and the original is obviously instead of a pistol you have an assault rifle and if you aim at the head you can actually take down most things considerably quicker than the original. Now this campaign is called Knee Deep in the Dead, which was the first ever chapter of the Doom. I don't even think you could call it a trilogy because there were so many different versions of, of the campaign. As you can see, whenever I was selecting my campaign, there was three other ones. Now, I'm just thinking where I need to go, if memory serves. Yes, indeed. Now this is not really like any other modern first-person shooter as it's extremely fast-paced. There is no emphasis on the likes of cover-based shooting. Also, I, th I think I should mention, it's not really something that you'd expect me to play. I realize this, most of my games are medical, doctor thing. That's fair enough. But I really did want a break from all of the drudgery and sameness, for lack of a better term. So I decided to play an old classic. And whilst you probably won't know this, I am quite a big fan of modern games, and as everyone is aware, there is a new Doom going to be released soon. I think in the next month. So I thought it was fitting if I played the original. Now I'm not sure how long this series is going to go on for. It's probably going to be split up into different parts. Apologies if my commentary is a bit lacking. I do have to concentrate quite a bit in shooting zombies and imps. That's another new feature of Brutal Doom. Some of the attacks of the minions have been edited. For example, the imps in the original Doom never bounced. They never jumped at you. What is they, they do with this? And it's quite annoying. I've chosen the medium difficulty. Because from what I've heard, Brutal Doom is hard enough as it is, and I don't really want to make this insane, even though I do want to challenge. It's always important to try and use the barrels to your advantage. For a number of reasons, it saves on ammunition, as ammunition sometimes is quite scarce. One of the downsides of Doom is, of course, I'm going to be using the shotgun primarily, as it's the most prevalent ammo source and the most powerful. I'm not quite sure where I'm expected to go here, but that's another feature of Brutal Doom that I really like, and that is you can execute people, as I'm sure you've seen earlier on, 
Also, whenever you kill a zombie, there is a chance. I'm not sure what that chance is based on whether you shoot them in the leg or they're just not fully dead. But they actually stay on the ground, writhing in pain. And you have to put them out of your misery. Out of their misery. <laughs> Apologies. Again, I'm concentrating. So, there's just so many additions that make this familiar, but also, oh, that's the chainsaw. I would quite, quite like that. Uh, okay, looks like I'm not going to get the chainsaw. Okay, so. I'm sorry, I completely lost my train of thought. Um, okay, I guess if I just get the map here, it should tell me where I need to go. Okay. One of the unfortunate side effects of Brutal Doom is they have added clip sizes to your weapons, which is... Oh, there's a switch. I didn't even see that. <laughs> Apologies. I think I know how to backtrack. I think that's right. And then right again. Oh, right. Yes, here we go. This seems to be on the right path. Just hit that. Beautiful. A chainsaw. Find some meat. Good. Well, that's provided me with a more vicious kind of... So I'm just trying to think where I'm supposed to go here. Oh, oops. Well, this is going to be fun. Anyway, as I was saying, the chainsaws provided me with a more viable melee option. If I do run out of ammunition, which, in Doom, sometimes, is very likely. Again, the poison barrels always help. And that's the end of level 2. If I could just get rid of these. Alright. Anything down there? No? Nuclear plant finished! Now these beginning levels really are just incredibly easy, I'm sure. You can tell. Okay. Now, I do have to be careful. As these are the f this is the first introduction of the pink demons. They're not really a threat from long range, but in melee range, they are quite... Oh. There's invisible demons here as well. Quite literally invisible. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to kill them. There has to be something. There has to be a strategy I can use. There's always a strategy. Okay, so, using the poison barrels to my effect again, now, that new jump attack never fails to be annoying. Let's finish him off. I think if I go up to the right here, um, that's a lot of shotgun zombies. I do forget some of the names of the enemies sometimes. I'm not really sure if I should run in. Usually, yes. I think I would have got mauled if I ran in there. Health is dangerously low at this point. I'm trying to shoot every barrel I can. 
visible. I think you can see their eyes. Their eyes are visible. That doesn't really help me at this point. As there is a lot of glowing things in these maps. Interesting side note. Brutal Doom is a lot more gory than the original Doom as well. Which I love. <laughs> I like blood. It makes me feel safe. Glad to get more health. And shoot some of the barrels in the distance. Now, should have dodged that. That's another new addition. Flaming zombies. It's always wise to ever wait flaming zombies. Okay. Good. Being careful not to fall off here. No. <coughs> oh. Crumbs. Well, that was stupid on my part. Oh well. And, oh, okay. Let's try and see if we can not die here. Nope. Have to be careful. Health. Good. Right. Now that I have the blue key, I can backtrack and enter other locations. First of all, I really want to get that megasphere. I think this is the way. Well, this looks to be the right way. More health as well. Good. And this should be it. And it is. Sorry, not Megasphere, Soul Sphere. Not really up on my Doom terminology as of late. Right. Now I can go in here. Much welcomed. Don't spread the soul sphere there. Have to be careful. If I run in there, I will get eviscerated by shotguns. Exploding barrel always works. Almost every time. I've no idea where he came from. Stock up on ammo while I can. Always a good idea. Quickly check. Seems to be clear. Plenty of health. And on to the next level. Toxin refinery. Finished. Command control. Okay. Now, I think this is where the game starts to get starts to get slightly more challenging. More enemies, more diverse enemies in more strategic positions. Harder to reach places and in longer range places as AI can more effectively aim than I can. Okay. I'm going to try and hit one of the... Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. I think one of the imps actually triggered that chain reaction. Either way. Good. This is another scenario where reloading is unfortunate. Oh. Well, that was lucky. Rocket launcher. Awesome. <laughs> 
I really am picking up a lot of Americanisms from playing video games. Awesome. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Oh. Did not expect that. Well, that was rather stupid. Note to self, don't shoot barrel when it's in front of your face. Chain gun is quite good. Although, it uses the same ammo as the pistol. And it can burn through that ammo almost 20 times faster. So, you're better only using it in emergencies. Likewise with a rocket launcher. Only for special occasions. Shotgun and assault rifle for normal level clearing. Or ammunition. Sorry, not ammunition. Armor. Heavy armor. I have a lot of armor now. So, I have really no excuse when it comes to losing. If I lose this level, I am going to be very angry and I'm going to quit. In a rage. I suppose you could call it a rage quit. That's another Americanism I've picked up. I don't know why I'm going for those packets of health. I really, really don't need them. Ow. I can't back up. I don't want to look away because I'll get murdered. Trying to use the barrels again, but very poorly timed, as was that door close. It really is lucky that I have so much health and armor, because if I didn't, I think I would have been dead by now. Enclosed spaces really are not my friend. I think I might need to use the map soon, if I could not die. No, bother. Before the other games that I've played, I have been quite relaxed. I think this game will be the exception, as it is quite stressful, personally, for me. Apologies if this upsets anyone. No offence is caused. I just find it hard sometimes to maintain composure when faced with Hellspawn. I hope you understand. The yellow key. Always like sneaking up on zombies. Very, very satisfying. Well, that was just needless violence, really, wasn't it? I think if I jump here... Wait, I'm just going to go back and get some more ammo. Because I think I'm running quite low, shotgun-wise. And jump over. Okay. Alright. Command control cleared.